Let's talk VPNs. What are they? When should you use one? And which are the good ones? Welcome to Safe Sex Sunday, where I take you through quick methods that you can use to protect yourself both online and offline. First up, what is a VPN? Whenever you connect to anything like Wi-Fi or the internet, you get something called an IP address. It's like a house address for your computer or phone. It's how services on the internet know where to address the information that you're looking for kind of like a post office. Now, a VPN changes the location of that address and creates a secure pipeline from your current address that pops out at another location. It's kind of like a forwarding address, but much more secure. Now, it can be used to appear like you're in a different country, such as those of you bending the rules to watch streaming services. But more importantly, let's discuss that secure pipeline I mentioned. Whenever you're on a Wi-Fi network or a connection managed by someone else, some of the requests from your computer could be seen by that other party. It's got much more secure than it used to be. If the site is secured with HTTPS, they can't necessarily see the content of what you're sending to that site, but there's still a risk that folks can see which sites you're going to. Now on Wi-Fi, the protections and encryptions work by the passphrase for the Wi-Fi. If no one knows the password, like on your home or office network, others can't decrypt the network and they can't see the data. However, in a public setting like your local Starbucks, everyone knows the password, so your traffic could potentially be snooped on. Now, a VPN adds that secure pipeline to your communications and stops anyone, even the service provider, seeing what you are requesting or sending or receiving. So if you are ever on public networks like a coffee shop or free Wi-Fi, that's when you'd use a VPN. As for the best services, there are many out there. I encourage you to read reviews on them. Some are designed for speed, like VPN Express, while others are designed for more privacy, like Proton, which incidentally is what I use. In all cases though, I would get a VPN from companies that specialize in the space and not bundled with other services that I have, like my antivirus or least of all in my browser. Till next time, keep those questions coming.